What in the world do you think is happening there right now? Because it's short. Oh, I, 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 think, I think this is something that has just grown over time, Rich. I think Coach Tomlin does a great job with letting players be individuals and, and letting players have their own personality. And I think some of that is some guys don't understand how to handle it. And, you know, I told a story on SVP the other night, and uh, for, for, for good, bad, or worse, or whatever, people have felt how they felt about it. But it's a true story. You know, I'm standing um, in, the, in, in the weight room as Antonio Brown walks by on the day that he's supposed to finish his deal. You know, and I talked to one of the strength coaches or the head strength coach, and I say, listen, when y'all give him this money, you know, y'all going to create a monster. Y'all going to have to be able to handle him. Um, sure enough, the next practice, we go out, and it's it's one on one. Keenan Lewis is playing and he gets a little too physical and he starts to scream, you know, I'm the franchise. You can't put your hands on me like that. He gets into it with Coach Dick LeBeau, who's a Hall of Famer, someone that Troy and I, you know, would question or talk to in that way. And he and I almost come to blows, you know, over that just because I, I just didn't like the attitude. I didn't like the start of that. And then we've seen different things throughout his career prog- progress and come to light publicly. And some of those things, Rich, are obviously – they obviously pale – in comparison to many things that's happened behind doors that people don't know. And I think just in the locker room in general, they just had enough of it. And from what I hear from talking to different people there, that situation and his growing, uh, you know, a discontent with the team and with certain things has really worn on this team as the years progress. Well, Mike Tomlin speaking to the media, as you and I are, are, are talking right now, um, Ryan, and you know the question is: is is has he lost control of this situation? I mean, you could essentially make that case viably right now. What do you think? Well, you know, yeah. Well, well you know, um, I, I think he has it in control in the way that he wants to, in the way that he feels he needs to. Uh, obviously, to me, on the outside looking in, I feel you have lost control if it comes down to costing you winning football games if it comes down to the fabric of the locker room and, and where it needs to be. Uh, and obviously you look on the other side of it, Rich, and you've been around this game forever, you know, much you understand that good players get certain leeway. And, you know, I would venture to say that many of us believe Antonio Brown is one of the best players in the NFL. So I think it's allowed him a little latitude in the way that he's been dealt with. But I think Coach Tomlin really has to look into this situation now in the offseason and see if having Antonio Brown on that team with his production and with, with, with uh, what he can bring to the field, uh, if that outweighs the problems that he is causing now in the locker room and now also publicly that these things are starting to seep into Antonio Brown, not even dressing out for games and being in a mink coat, leaving, you know, reportedly at halftime. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.